points. Oh yeah, I'm going to check for a quick Valua stuff, see what we've got mostly female. So we are in um, <coughs> slight danger here, fellas, of becoming the, like, the festival, festival music vlogger boys, because we're doing... Maybe that's here. our market, maybe that's who we should aim for. I've it's done so many festivals you, this summer. How many have you done this summer? This will be my sixth, I think. So I had Demon Days, Margate, Glastonbury, Transmit in Glasgow, Boardmasters in Cornwall, and then We Are Festival wow. in Essex. Need I ask which one was best, or is it Glastonbury? Uh, it's Glass, it's Glastonbury, but I think even if it's it wasn't, I would still, yeah, that's, that's, that's also cool. true. I think even if it wasn't the best, I would say that, <laughs> yeah. because I'm loyal to Glastonbury, which <laughs> means this weekend, and best of all, mm, it could is, be the best. It is sort of. All. <laughs> that's, well, their marketing team's done well. They're <laughs> great, <laughs> great name. That. Like, it is sort of known, as we were discussing this earlier, the sort of second in command, isn't it, in the British yeah. festival season. It's the, it's the final one, but it's also Glastonbury light. Is that fair? Yeah, like every everyone I've spoken to about it has loved it. You know, all the other things aside from the music, and I think people talk about Glastonbury like there's so much more other than the music. Festival's the other festival where they talk about it in the same vein. Right. So I mean, I don't know. I'm approaching this so cold. I've never been. I wonder how common it is that someone would go to Glastonbury and Festival both, or is it one year. or the other? The tend people tend to go to one or the other. Well, I, I think one or the other because I think, like Bish says, it's it's. It is that other festival that has the whole kind of big artsy package, yeah. so you don't really need both. But we landed on our feet thanks to Vicious Sister. Yeah, thanks, Jaina. She got us some free tickets. <laughs> Show sure, a picture now of Jaina. I will just as well do that, but thanks for a little <laughs> edit note there from Adam Harwood, like my assistant junior editor. And we also saw her at Glastonbury as well, so she's doing Glastonbury yes, Festival. Because we've got to go on to two festivals with your sister, technically. This is so weird. <laughs> I might hang out with your sister more than you. <laughs> well, I've already said, stated that I think Fisher's sister is immeasurably cooler than him. <laughs> Not don't, fair. Don't edit, edit that out, right? Now. No, keep it. <laughs> stop editing yourself as we talk, mate. You can't stop doing that. He's edit talking. But it is, it is the final festival of the, of the British festival season. The it's end the of one summer. Because this is it, it's in September, which in itself seems slightly odd, does it not? And the yeah. weather is not looking good either. Well, the weather's not looking good at all. It's <laughs> 16 degrees and drizzly, which... Uh, <laughs> okay, perfect. so British. So expectations-wise, what are we looking at? Different from other festivals, what are you thinking? People really go, go for it, don't they? What I've heard is that in terms of the dress-up, at Glastonbury... People can still go there and not get dressed up, whereas best of all, it becomes more of a thing. Well, it's like uh, seeing Grant Garden Party in that respect, yeah, isn't yeah, it? You yeah. really want to go all out. I think it's interesting about the location move because the Isle of Wight is one of the most iconic located places in the world to have a festival. Yeah. You've had you have the Isle of Wight Festival, obviously, there as well. Jimi Hendrix's famous performances out there. Well, man with a guitar, Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> So it's going to be a slightly odd move, especially for those probably who have been years and yeah. Yeah. consecutively. There's probably something about going over on the ferry that's quite exciting, which is going to be lost. But I can imagine that's horrible to come back on the ferry. <laughs> yeah. And also, this is two, hour, two and a half hours for us yeah, to get to. Yeah, it's fine. We, yeah. we get to a station called... Wool. Wool. Yeah. <laughs> Wool. <laughs> Wool. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> so unlike with Glasgow, which obviously we're sort of old hands at now, and we could give kind of our thoughts on. We didn't want to like do this vlog and make out kind of we knew loads about it. So we just sort of nailed one act who didn't do Glasto this year, who we're all looking forward to as opposed to giving a proper breakdown like we did with Glasto. So who wants to kick it off? Uh, the band I'm most looking forward to seeing or act uh, is Tribe Called Quest. To be honest, I never really listened to them like first time round. I know what well, they broke up late 90s. Re got back together mid 2000s to the tour. And it's only last year they released a new album um, and I, th I think they're brilliant. So yeah, apparently the album's influence. like been really well received as well. Yeah, um, I can kick on right now, and I'm going to tell you that my artist looking forward to seeing most um, be Jamie T. Uh, I've heard like for a one man band, he's pretty kind of electric on stage, and he's got like a great collection of hits. Now, I haven't yeah. probably listened to his latest album as much, but Sticks and Stones, Sheila. All of them um, are going to be... Oh, it's going to be so good. Everyone's going to be singing along and it's going to be great. Yeah. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing him. I really am. Um, mine is Danny Brown, who I actually interviewed out in, or I filmed an interview out in uh, Hamburg earlier this year. And he's a pretty crazy guy. The Needle Drop, who's this very famous YouTuber who does like record reviews online, music reviews online. 
I rate his album, his last album is the best album of last year. Mm. So like totally worth a listen, really engaging performer. And again, the only thing I'm going to say though is, I might try for a band, solo hip hop artists on big stages. Yeah. It's always like Kanye at yeah. Glasto last... Uh, Jay-Z wasn't great at... No, at Glasto uh, and when he did it. No, even at V this year. Oh, was he Frank even... Ocean bombed Lovebox. Yeah, he did. Did yeah. he really? Apparently. Yeah, massively. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I love Frank Ocean. I love Frank. No, no more. <laughs> and I re- read recently as well, K- uh, Childish Gambino once got booed off the stage as well. Oh, no. Well, so I, I think never boo him. I think there is All something... hip-hop artists are rubbish. <laughs> you know, of all the genres of music, you don't want to get on the wrong side, that's probably hip-hop. <laughs> 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 we know what actually known exceptions to this, although it's Grime. Stormzy, Stormzy. Agnes, though, apparently absolutely smashed it. And so. Dizzy Rascal. And Dizzy. Dizzy smashed well, it. Well, there goes Grime. And Dizzy's Grime at, versus hip hop. Dizzy's yeah, at a yeah. festival as well. Is he? Yeah. Oh, I'm saying Dizzy again. <laughs> Fuck all these free mugs. <laughs> Dizzy. Dizzy. <laughs> all right, let's end it on uh, good and bad. So take me, tell me a good thing you're looking forward to. Tell me a thing that you're not looking forward to. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'm comparing this to Glasgow. I'm looking forward to a location that I've never been to before. Yep. And working that out, you know? Like, Glasgow's amazing, but I've been there three years now, and it's like, yeah. I know it, and it's not ex- as exciting as it once was. Yeah. We're going to have that whole exciting experience of working your way around. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Bad? Um, the weather's not looking too sharp, <laughs> so I'm a little bit worried about that. My good would be the um, how eccentric people are going to be there. We're going to see some crazy outfits. And that's my bad as well. I don't have much clothing that I'm going to compare to people there, so uh, I wish I had a bit more time to prep. So... Good, going to see people crazy, bad, we're not going to look crazy. Good is actually seeing some of the, like, the mad artsy stuff. So Glastonbury, everyone knows the rabbit hole, everyone knows kind, yeah. of, kind of all the other hippie stuff that goes on in the green fields. Best of all, I have no idea, but I know that it's... You're going to they, find it, they put a lot. <laughs> definitely going to find it. Uh, they put a lot of emphasis on that side, so looking forward to seeing all that. Um, the bad um, probably, probably is lack of prep. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going after work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to pack tonight. Okay. Yeah. Um, Friday. So, yeah. Uh, and this isn't the most organised. Really. I'm really not, no. Um, so, this is this This will be interesting. It'll be a test of character. It will be, man. Um, as well as seeing the festival. You know, Any pictures you see of Bishop at Bestival will be in his black skinnies and pink hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> With the same beer he's drinking right now. <laughs> it's really hot. 